champions are undoubtedly the National Mouse Club of Britain. The wee sleekit cowering timorous beastie, eulogised in poetry by Robert Burns, now comes in at least 50 varieties and competes in shows of its own. Jack Hartley, in just a few of your 500 mice. Now, I suspect there are some people at home, don't look at me like that, some people at home saying, I can understand beagles, I can understand horses, I understand dogs, but mice, what do you want to do that for? I don't know, it's exhibition, isn't it? I, I, I like mice. It's, uh, they can have their dogs, I don't want dogs, I want mice. It's like that, is it? <laughs> I see, I see. Now, what sort of mice are these? The, uh, well, actually, they are exhibition mice. They're not the house mice that you see running about on the floors. They're uh, all show mice. Every one of these is a show mouse. What's it? But you see, I'm an ignorama, an ignorant yeah. mouse. Mm. I don't. I can't tell the difference between an exhibition mouse, a door mouse. Why is it an exhibition mouse? We fit standards to each uh, each type of mouse. Um, if it's an aga, you know, the the type of mouse is according to the colour, the size. Uh, the tail set, the colour of the feet, the colour of the belly, it, it's all points. It's a point system. Would an exhibition mouse breed with a door mouse with a house mouse? It'll breed with a house mouse. I don't think it'll breed with a door mouse. So they're very, they're quite fussy. Mm -hmm. But why do you actually like them? Maybe that's what I really want to find out. Well, it's the competitiveness. I've, I've always been competitive. I, I, it was something, I mean, uh, at my age now, I can't play football, can I? Or I can't play rugby. I can only go out with mice or girls. But you, <laughs> no, I don't think your wife would like that. But, but you were just saying to me before we started chatting, you, you said you got, what, 10p if you won, something like that? No, 30p. Oh, well. 30p uh, you get for the first prize, and 20p you get for a second prize, and 10p you get for a third prize. But it costs more to put them in than to get the first prize. No, no, you, you put it... Te if there's if four classes, you put, pay 10p each class and you get, uh, it, that costs you 40p. So you pay 40p and you'd only get 30p back <laughs> if it only won once. <laughs> you obviously do it for love, not yeah, filthy correct, lucre. Correct, correct. Now, has and, it, sorry, Jack, go on. Go on, and I, it's, as I say, I, I've always been competitive in life. Whatever it is that I take up, I've got to try and win. Yeah. I come to the hardest question of all to ask you now is, how do you judge a championship mouse? Because there is mouse. a National Mouse Club of Britain in Britain, isn't there? Yes, there is a National Mouse Club in Britain, which, you know, the, most of the members are jo that join show. You know, the, the most members do show. But to have a good mouse, as I say, it's, it's, it's fitted to a standard, and it has to have a good top colour for that mouse. It has to have a good belly colour as near as possible to the top colour. And it has to have good ears. It has to have a good tail set. The tail has got to be as long as its body. The best way to do with its tail is to touch its nose with it. Mm -hmm. Then you know that its tail is long enough. If you bring the tail over and touch the mouse's nose, you know the tail is long enough. It's not like other beauty contests, is it, really? I mean... Yes, it is. I've already said this many, many times. It's just like judging this world. Hardly. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I really mean it. When you've got 11 mice on this table, and now if we judge those 11 mice, we might get down to two at the end of the day. Now we've got two mice and we've got to pick that, which is the best one of those two. Now you go through all the points that I've just mentioned you to you, yes. top coat, tail set, you know, feet and belly color, and you get the two. And when you handle both of the mice, they may look identical. They might have the same number of points, which is out of 100, and when you count those points up in your own mind, you might say, well, the points are equal, what do I do? Then you take home the one you fancy. If I was judging Miss Will, that's exactly what I'd do. Mm. I'd say, well, they, they're both as good, they're 36, 24, 36. Now, which one do I take home? One with the longest tail. Correct. Right.
In everybody's lifetime, they're, they're either competitive at some things or they're not competitive at all. And the sports that I used to do uh, uh, when I was younger was uh, I used to run and I used to uh, play football and I used to box. And if you took look at the age limits of these three professions, you get too old at the same time. I mean, when you're 30, you're past all the three, really. When I came into the mouse fancy, which was an accident, purely an accident, really, I had no intentions of joining the National Mouse Club at all. I had mice at work because I worked for the gas board and uh, used to take them in the holder at Bradford Road. You know, rather, you know, canaries down mines. Well, it's rather better to lose a mouse than lose a man's life. My wife, uh, obviously, doesn't like the time that I spend with them. I do know that at shows people have problems, you know, because uh, obviously you, you, a lot of the wives do object to the time because it's a time-consuming job like racing pigeons is. I know because I used to race pigeons when I was very, very young. But mouse fanciers that I've got, most of the mouse fanciers that I've ever dealt with spend a lot of time with them. They've got to do if they're going to be at the top. It's the time that they put in will only is the only chance they've got. They can't, uh, to be success, they can't just say, well, that's it, throw some food in and never see him again for 24 hours. That's ridiculous. They'll never win anything, not continually. I've never had problems with the mice, you know, because I don't, I always keep them in good cages. I don't like them to get out at all. I'd rather kill them than have them running around in the shed. After being in over 20 odd years in the mouse fancy, I honestly agree that two trios are best to start with. In the first trio, keep four youngsters back, all females. And in the second uh, of the trio, keep three does back and one buck or one male. Cross the mother with the son and the father with the three, three daughters. And do the same on the second trio. People are a bit squeamish sometimes about killing animals. But those people that are squeamish about killing any sort of an animal where the show where we're talking about showing not pets but if you're there to show animals such as mice or rabbits anything that is weak or under standard or anything should be killed you should be ruthless with it get rid of it because it's only eating food you must be ruthless you must ki there's only one word you've got to kill most of them throw them on on the shed floor 
give them a knock a bang or something like that, a drown them or something like that. They all have their own their own systems. I've known people even gas them in in jam jars with mice. I I never hesitate. Anything wrong, even if they've got white toes on the feet, they're dead. Generally speaking, youngsters of, say, 9, 10, 11, stay at 12 months and then they don't any longer. You see, when I came in, uh, I'd say that the general age of the fancy was about 40. You see, but the general age of the fancy, as I see it now, is older than that. The majority of fanciers have been there a long time and, they, and, and most of them are quite old. These people don't simply die and fade away. You've got to hit them with a hammer to kill them. They just, they just won't die, these people. They, they just stay on and on and on and on. You go to shows, show after show, and there the faces are, and you just wonder how the hell they got there. I think that um, what is a bit unfortunate is that people want to show quickly. They see shows, they buy mice, and they want to show very, very quickly. They may have a bit of luck, say, for two or three months, and then the luck starts going against them, and <laughs> they pack in. People have, have come up to me many, many times at shows and said, well, how the devil can you uh, judge a mouse? Well, how the devil can you judge Miss World? It's exactly the same. You pick what you would fancy. I mean, they obviously go for points like 36, 24, 36. No, we don't have 36, 24, 36 in mice. We have body length and size of ears and, and eyes and, and, and feet and uh, so forth uh, are taken into account. We have had people come up at a mouse show that haven't seen, don't even know what a mouse is. We have had people come up to mouse shows and told children that they're hamsters. For the past 20 years, um, I've done quite well in shows and um, well they have done a lot of winning but of course uh, it's been a lot of hard work uh, anybody that tells you that uh, all you do is uh, just keep a couple of mice in a cage and hope for the best that isn't the way to win spend quite a lot of time in here. It's about three hours a night, Monday to Friday, and then, of course, uh, this Saturday and Sunday. Probably a bit more than that. It's never less than that. It may sound, um, you know, big-headed or anything like that, if, you, if that's how you like to put it, but take it all in all, you can say that I win uh, more than anybody else. <laughs> 